Hi, welcome to this video. Today we're exploring advanced session management in Playwright using cookies. Managing session is crucial for testing login flows, session persistence and user states effectively. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use cookies to handle authenticated and non-authenticated session in your tests. It's simple, powerful and will level up your automation skills. Let's jump in and see how it works. For this demonstration, I've set up a simple web app with a basic login system. It generates session cookies when you log in, making it ideal for testing session management techniques. The focus here isn't on the app itself, but on using Playwright to handle authenticated and non-authenticated states effectively. I can log in and I can log out. And that's all about this application. Let's start by creating a function called getAuthToken. This function will handle user authentication by sending a login request to our API and retrieving the session token. This is the foundation for managing authenticated sessions in Playwright. So let's import the requests, import requests, and define get off token with URL. Let's copy that. Let's make it string API login headers content type application JSON and and data. email as I remember it was admin admin but let's check that once again uh, admin admin and the password admin response equals requests post url json data and headers equals headers uh, now let's check uh, if the request was uh, successful so let's write if response status code equals 200 then return response JSON get token else price exception failed failed to log in as you can see this function sends a POST request to the API endpoint with the user credentials. If the credentials are valid, the server responds with a token, which we'll use to manage authenticated sessions. Next, we need to set up a browser context for authenticated sessions. We'll achieve this by using a PyTest fixture that uses the getAuthToken function to inject the session token as a cookie. Let's import PyTest and from Playwright since API import. Let's write pytest fixture with scope of function. This scope ensures a fresh page for each test. Dev page locked token equals get off token. If not token, then write uh, exception no token received from API uh, now let's launch playwright and configure the browser with sense playwright as p 
browser equals p chromium launch uh, headless, headless false context equals p new up oh, sorry browser new context and now let's add the cookie to the context so context add cookies uh, the first will be the name which equals uh, token next the value uh, with token inside and then domain domain zero zero one and then path which will be on the slash uh, http only let's set it to the uh, false and same for secure secure false and the last one uh, session cookie expires minus one um, now let's create a new page in the browser context so it will be page context new page yelled page 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 close to clean up the page and page uh, sorry context close and browser close this feature takes the token we generated earlier and uses it to create a browser context with an authenticated session the cookie is added to simulate a locked in state using yield we provide this page to our test and ensure proper cleanup once the test is done. Now we'll set up another fixture for non-authenticated sessions. This allows us to test scenarios where the user isn't locked in. PyTest fixture with scope function def page not locked and we can copy that and just delete uh, cookies management now, now that we have set up our fixtures for authenticated and unauthenticated sessions let's move on writing the actual tests this test will verify whether the session management is working correctly. Import time from playwright sense API import page that test locked with our function as parameter and it was page locked. page locked go to zero zero one and time sleep five seconds to observe the changes and assert uh, lock locked in let me check it uh, locked yep the state should be locked in locked in in page context and let's copy that test test not locked and we will use page not locked and the state should be uh, not locked in
Okay. First, we have the test locked function. Oh, sorry, mistake. Should be HTTP and content here, not the context. This test uses the page locked fixture. I mean the test locked. Uh, with an authenticated session, we navigate to our target URL and check if the content on the page indicates that the user is locked in. If the session is working correctly, the test will pass. Next, we have the test not locked function. This test, this test uses the page not locked fixture to simulate a non-authenticated user. Again, we navigate to the same target URL, but this time we expect the page content to indicate that the user is not locked in. This allows us to verify that non-authenticated sessions behave as expected. Now that we've written our tests and set up everything, it's time to run them and see the results in action. I'll use PyTest to execute the tests. PyTest tests. As. as you can see, the logged in test confirms that our session management is working correctly and the non-logged in test validates the absence of authentication. This demonstrates the flexibility and power of using cookies for session handling in Playwright.